hello, hello, hello. Happy, happy Sunday and happy Easter. Right now it is the afternoon time and hubby and I already went to church, hung out with family. Also today is my um, dad's 64th birthday and their wedding anniversary all at the same time. Yes, so today has been a super, super busy day and kind of everybody has dispersed to go and do their own plans. Hopefully you guys have had a great weekend, a great um, start to your spring break or whatever's going on in your neck of the woods and that you have started to enjoy this day, whatever this day brings you. Whether you go to church, whether you eat the egg hunt, whether you sit down and do a big Easter dinner, whether you barbecue, whether you go out to a restaurant, whatever you do it, do it well. Alright, so like I said, it's the afternoon time and we went to church and church was amazing. Um, after that, uh, sat down and hung out with my brother and his girlfriend um, and his family um, at the house and they left to go and do their own thing and my parents originally, I had tried to surprise them and make them uh, um, a RSVP to go out to um, a restaurant that they really, really like and then unbeknown to me, my dad went and made um, reservations at another restaurant. So they didn't get a chance to go because my mom was having a good time, sit down and join time with family. So they didn't go. Um, a lot of phone calls and a lot of people stopping by the house to tell her happy anniversary and to tell my dad happy birthday. Um, things just didn't go as planned, but my mom and dad, they're not complaining because they was also giving some gift cards um, by a friend of theirs. So it just really, really worked out. and. You know, and, and they're feeling great. Um, I had gave them some cash and um, a card as a, um, a birthday, I mean, a birthday present to my dad and gave them some money to go out with um, to pay for their meal. So they're just enjoying this total day. So I don't know what else their plans are going to do. Um, also, I was just looking at this card that was coming out. I thought they was about to hit us. You're driving crazy. Stay in your lane. Um, so right now, my husband and I, we're going to Shawnee's and um, my parents decide to come as well so we're going to go and get a table for four for all of us to sit down and eat and enjoy that so um you guys later on in this video maybe or maybe not i don't know um depending on what i record um talk about the um what is that the, the cardiologist that the that i had on last week because my video i just uploaded the other day if you didn't see that I will put it in the, um, either link it up here or I put it down in the description box below. Um, I didn't get a chance to do that because, like I said, the camera had cut off way too soon. I didn't get a chance to say that all what I wanted to say. So um, right now we are on our way heading to the restaurant. Hello, <laughs> hubby. All right, so we are almost there, like in about five minutes. Happy birthday, 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 I am done eating. Hey, Jerry. Hey, Jerry. You don't have to hate it, you can just dislike it. I mean, you like cherries. This ice cream? <laughs> That's look good. You don't like cherries. Oh, yeah. You don't like cherries. You don't like cherries. Do you want it? Okay. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> but I yeah. just ain't killed by me, so I can walk out the Okay, so we are home and been home for a little while. Hubby came home and took him a little nap, but he left to go and run some errands and to go to the store. So I am going to finish up this video. Um, 
going out was really, really great. My mom and dad was very, very happy and excited to spend time with family and just to sit there and witness, you know, the miracle of love, the miracle of a great marriage, that no marriage is perfect, but I am so grateful for my parents that has set such an amazing example for my husband and I to follow and just they've been excellent parents to all three of us and we are all so so grateful for them and we just all had our opportunity to tell them how we felt and even my husband you know he calls them mom and dad so it was just so cute and just today was just absolutely wonderful so appointment if I want to come on and finish the video um obi gone appointment I did not get the opportunity to talk about the cardiologist visit that I had the previous week before on last week. I did not get a chance to do that the week before. So I'm going to do that now. And he's been my doctor, I would say, for the past six months. So he's always tried to keep you know keep tabs because I had the whole thermometer and when nothing um came back, you know, they did say I had like some minor skip beats, but they say it was nothing to be frantic about nothing to be um, alone about when I was feeling something I really wanted to get it checked out but when they check everything on the computer and ran the scans it was like you know you are totally fine there's nothing to be you know concerned about so you're good now the crazy thing about it is that my cardiologist EEG test to be done because he was concerned that I was having you know the seizure so I don't even know how came to a cardiologist to doing a test but he did and he scheduled it and the sad but annoying thing about it but I'll still say positive they're seeing that I was having very small seizures in my brain and last year in July was a really scary time when I was admitted to the hospital for about a week when I started having a lot of blackouts and a lot of seizures and that was super alarming to my family very panicky for my husband but concerned, but not to the outrageous degree what it was last year around the summertime in July. But they still are not just going to just throw caution to the wind and ignore it. Uh, because the doctor did get in touch with my neurologist, so he definitely knows. So, positive thumbs up for me. Um, so, if we go back on it, then A, do what we got to do to stay alive. And we want to keep fighting and stay strong and be positive all the way through try my best to be positive and just keep fighting and don't give up so you know in final plans for the viral new that is right around the corner because may will be here before you know it and definitely may 11 will be knocking at knocking at my door so um it's crazy because like i said i don't think i've seen it be, especially if i'm not having a good night of sleep and i try my best even we're going to be on time is that the body is not always going to, you know, be in agreement with it. wants to have his own mind, does his own thing. So I try my best and stuff. I need to go and get in the bed and get some good bits and joy. But love and peace to you, and I will talk to you guys soon.